Hello everyone, welcome to this breathwork session. My name is Ryan and I'll be guiding you through today's session. Before we begin, I'd like to share a bit about my journey with breathwork. I first stumbled upon breathwork about a year ago when I was in Peru. I was, in year, I was on a year-long soul-searching trip and I saw this session listed on a Facebook group that posted about spiritual events in Cusco and I was very much in a season of seeking and was open to trying many new things, breathwork being one of them. The lady leading the session was talking about emotional releases, crying, the numbing of hands, and, and I thought to myself, what on earth is she talking about? You know, but true enough, many of what she, she said did happen to me. It was quite a spiritual experience for me. Something deeper was happening that I couldn't really explain. And since then, I felt more drawn to the breath, more drawn to explore it, and even now to pursue um, leading it. Um, breathwork is a tool that has such a rich potential for exploring deeper parts of ourselves. Uh, most of what I've known about inner healing is done through um, talk therapy, which I find can be quite incomplete in itself because it often doesn't involve the whole body. But the body keeps the score. Our bodies, they remember things that happen to us, even if our minds have forgotten. And I find that breathwork is a modality that helps us tap into the body's innate wisdom. Is there anyone here who is breathing for the first time? Uh, it's helpful for me to know so that I can give you a bit more guidance and attention if you need. But I see you and, and welcome. Thank you for being here. And um, thank you for, for showing up in this space for yourself and for trusting me to, to lead you and guide you in that. Today we'll be doing the, we'll be breathing what's known as the conscious connected breath. And so what does that look like? Let me demonstrate. So notice that the end of my inhale is connected to the beginning of my exhale. There isn't so much of a, of a pause and it's kind of like a circle. And you can either breathe in through your mouth or your nose. Pick one, but don't do a combination of both. Breathing in through the nose usually results in a more calm and gentle journey while breathing through the mouth can result in a more stimulating experience. Um, so try whichever one uh, fits best for you. But through it all, you will have control over your experience. The journey will be paced by music, slower in the beginning, and then gradually picking up pace until we reach a peak. And after this peak, the music will become gentler again and I invite you to slow down and speed up your breathing in accordance with the music. You will also be hearing my voice alongside the music, uh, guiding and giving you cues, so don't worry too much if you're a bit lost right now. So some things to take note of what could happen in this um, breathwork journey. One of the main things that does happen is the feeling and releasing of emotions. And this can sometimes be quite intense, so though I encourage you to feel into these emotions and to surrender to them. Um, also listen to your body and your intuition. If it feels overwhelming, perhaps you could return to a nose breath um, or you could raise your hand and ask for my help. But know that your tears are welcome and sacred. You may also experience what's known as tetany, which is the cramping and numbing of your hands, feet, jaw, or other body parts. When I first did my breathwork session in, in Peru, my hands cramped up like this and I couldn't move them. It was very painful and very scary because I felt frozen and, and stuck. But over time it did pass. And so if this happens to you, I do, I do reassure you right now that it will pass your hands, your jaw, it will all return to normal. 
And if that happens, if tightening happens, you start breathing in through the nose and in time, the cramping will fade. Um, if you breathe in through your mouth, if you, you've chosen to breathe through your mouth and your, your throat gets dry, you can put your tongue on the roof of your mouth and, and breathe and that will help bring a bit more moisture into your throat. During the session, your body might feel like moving or making a sound, feel free to do so. You don't have to lie like a plank. You don't have to lie still. You can, you can move, you can curl up, you can lie on your side, um, do as you please. Your body might, um, it's, it's normal for you also to have many swirling thoughts, to fall asleep or to be distracted by sounds. All of those things have happened to me and do continue to happen. And so when this happens, no worries. Just remember to refocus your attention onto the breath. Some contraindications. If anyone here is pregnant, epileptic, bipolar, schizophrenic, um, has a history um, of cardiovascular disease or high blood pressure, please be advised that um, you can still breathe with us, but you're encouraged to be a bit more careful. Um, it would be best if you have already checked with your medical practitioner, your doctor, if you can, if you can breathe consciously with these conditions. Um, the main reason I do bring this up though is, is because there isn't so much research done um, on conscious connected breath and some of these contraindications. So I want to err on the side of caution but I also do want to say that no one has died or had very severe um, and debilitating reactions to this. But just to be careful, if, if you identify with any of these contraindications, I, I invite you to breathe through your nose for today, especially if today is your first time. Okay, some final thoughts, some final things. Touch is often used in breathwork to calm and to support the breather. And this can be a tricky situation at times as uh, many people might not feel so comfortable with it. So for this first session to be on the safer side, I'm not going to offer touch unless you specific, specifically request it. Um, and if at any point anyone needs assistance during the session, please raise your hand and I will assist you. I also invite you to keep your eyes closed for the whole session, being more fully in your internal process. Towards the end, I'll let you know an appropriate time to open your eyes. You can breathe either sitting down or lying down, whichever is more comfortable for you. I usually lie down, that's my preferred state. The whole session will be about 60 minutes long. And at the very end of the session, I'll open up this space for people to share anything about their experience if they want. Are there any questions? If there are no more questions, this would be a good opportunity to use the bathroom if you need. Finally, I ask that you invite in a sense of curiosity and, and let go of any expectations. Don't worry so much if you're doing this right. I'm here to guide you and assist you. But also whether you're doing it right or wrong, you've already made such a courageous step in stepping out of your comfort zone and trying something new. So a big breath to you and enjoy the journey. <laughs>